Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Delta Squad here on Rage Quit Radio. I am GM Mike, and I am joined by... I'm Josh. I am playing Mallory Okami, also known as Delta Green, and your turquoise champion. Because it's a, gre- it's a green blue. <laughs> 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 wow, I can't. It's, I can't. My brain can't handle this. <laughs> Have an energy, Josh. <laughs> oh, okay, next... I'm Judy playing Felicia Tian, your sunny yellow ranger. Eh, alright. That's alright. I'm Chris Brown playing Phyllis Banks, the Delta Blue Ranger. I got nothing else. I'm RJ and I'm playing Adam Marvin, the Delta Red Ranger. So, do keep in mind, folks, uh, throughout this, that you can help our heroes. You do that down below with the hashtags. Leave them in the live chat during our premiere, or leave them in the comment section. Anything you put there will help our players in episode three coming up here in the coming weeks on Geek Carolina. Uh, right now, they have their power gems in front of them for this session, but they also have, courtesy of you guys, they still haven't cashed them in for this episode. They still have one super, one ultra, and one hyper at their disposal. Um, so. We're going to see what happens here in the finale of this episode. A New Breed of Hero, Episode 2 of Delta Squad. So, uh, when last we left, we have uh, our Delta Red, uh, Adam Marvin, along with Dr. Ryan Steele, who is armed with the prototype Delta Trooper armor codename Gavin. (laughs) Sidearm. Because he is a sidearm. Um, ah, when you got a Zeta Beam, you don't need a sidearm. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, uh, they are currently uh, infiltrating the Lightspeed Aqua Base in Mariner Bay, which is uh, seems quite suspicious with uh, no one around and uh, some strange acrid liquid uh, tracing around throughout the floors of the base. So they are there seeing what is going on. Uh, they are waiting on the arrival as well of Captain Dana Mitchell, the Commandant of the Lightspeed Rescue Academy in Mariner Bay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, and we're going to hand wave a little bit of this stuff. Meanwhile, Delta Blue, Delta Yellow, and Delta Green are all at the wharf on, uh, at Mariner Bay uh, waiting where a spaceship, uh, an unidentified shuttle that we now know contains... Uh, their friend Cadet Marvin, not Cadet Marvin, Cadet Rodriguez, Cadet Marvin's <laughs> in the base, yeah. contains Cadet Rodriguez along with Detective Sergeant Umiko, uh, is heading for a crash landing on the beach, uh, landing pad with numerous alien cobras forming concentric circles and sort of building uh, what looks to be a, a target landing zone, and a number of crushers, the foot soldiers used by the uh, thus far uh, mysterious syndicate. You see the crushers there on screen. So, we pick things up at the wharf. Uh, Delta Blue has just arrived, while Delta Green and Delta Yellow are they're figuring out their next course of action. Well, is there... That building that you smelled out, is there any windows we could peek inside? Sure. Yeah. We will sneak up that way and peek inside. Okay. Um, how about I give you a boost? Because I'm not so good at the sneaking. Depending on how high the windows are, <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're not particularly high. Yeah. Okay, I'll sneak and you rendezvous with blue. Mm. All right. Okay. So you're going to be doing that. Delta Blue has just arrived. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. Like, all right, Manx, they're making a landing pad. We have about a dozen crushers, two giant cobra aliens, and what I'm getting from that building over there mm-hmm. smells exactly like those, but much stronger and much more concentrated. Ugh. So any way you shake it, we are outnumbered. Not necessarily outgunned, but outnumbered most definitely. <laughs> definitely outnumbered. 
But unfortunately, we may not have the luxury of wait of waiting. We may have to make a move sooner rather than later. And also, considering that we know from the yeah. reports that make this, roll. this venom is you need a four. is lethal, it might be better to change. Might be better to change now. Probably would be a good idea. Okay. Spin two pink. So it's plus two. Put those back in the bag. Yeah. I would like to not be noticed. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the... It was two. Yay. So, four. Yep. Um, you peek in undetected. Um, when you peek in, basically, um, you see these strange robed figures, uh, a number of them, basically rocking back and forth in a rhythmic dance-like motion uh, in front of a rather ornate mirror. And standing in front of that mirror, seemingly having some sort of conversation, is a rather large snake-looking creature you can't really make out anything that is being said, but you can see what the creature looks like. And that's it. Gotcha. So that's what you see. You see that from there, RJ? Yeah. Okay. Looks like a cobra dude. Yep. It's cool. Cobra guy. She will quietly, you know, cobra sneak around. it back. Mm hmm. She will. So, looks like a snake cult, and like, she will describe the. If, 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 if a snake man and a woman and a regular human had a baby, that's what right, I was and talking stop. to. And I look at her like, and I look at like, remember how you said you want to learn how to be more empathetic? Yeah. Consider your audience. Stop with the mate talk. <laughs> <laughs> stop. All right. A so, snake-like anthropomorphic being is talking to a mirror, so, and there's so we like have, a, you guys we have snake-like. We have cobras, crushers, a shuttle with hostages, and snake cultists. Well, this is a rough first day as a ranger. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> However, so, with that much carnage, I think I might have an idea of like how I split some of this up. Uh-oh. I mean... That we will kick over <laughs> to the aqua base. They huddle. <laughs> yeah. So, have you made it to the command center? Yes, you have made it to the command center. There does not seem to be another soul in the base. Nobody at all. None. Jesus. Okay. Um, I will immediately go. Like I will get on the consoles and try trying to figure out what's up, what's going on with the base. Okay. Um, you start trying to cool. activate different things. Yep. Uh, you will need... This is a super serious situation? Uh, no, this is part of your mission objective. Um, Bless. Trying to think here. You need an eight. <laughs> so I have to roll a six plus my two. Got it. Unless you want to spend something. Uh, yeah. That's you right. do have two reds. I do have my reds over there. Um... Uh, yeah, I'll spend one of my reds to get the plus two. Okay. Get plus four. So I need a four better. You need a four so better. That's gonna be doable. So. Yeah. Five plus five. four is a nine. Okay. Um you have to bypass a considerable amount of security lockout. I knew there was a reason I kept listening to Felicia. <laughs> um <laughs> Dr. Steele, mm -hmm. you know, steps over to assist and he's Watching what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. There's a slight hitch in my typing, but I keep going. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to put this much security lockout unless they were purposely abandoning the base. This thing is shut down so that no hostile can get in. Got it. Got it. So that means there's nobody here. So everybody's evacuated of this place, and that's good. But why is Captain Marshall coming here, then? There's any number of reasons Captain Mitchell could be coming, but uh, 
with all due deference, Delta Red, yeah. I think you're only half right. What do you mean? There's no friendlies left. Shit. There's no reason to put this much down here unless you expected somebody to get in. Doors can be blown up. Yeah. But to access any of the equipment in this base in a useful fashion for anything other than scrap metal, you have to be able to use these computers. So that would mean there's a friend was up. There's probably an enemy or so down here, maybe. Well, well, I can look. We got the sensors the, yeah, now, sensors, so I will turn the sensors on or whatever and see if I can find anything on the sensors. I'm gonna roll. Okay, uh, go ahead. And Doctor Steele is assisting you, so you need a three. So he's assisting me, so what does that mean? You need a three. I need a three. Okay. I don't see anyone keeping serious. Oh, no. <laughs> I got, well, I got three, because one plus two is a three. Yes. Um, and one is not always a fail. Yes, there is no actual auto fail. You are Power Rangers, so there yeah. is no such thing as auto fail. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Internal sensors are picking up a half dozen hostels in the Zord Bay. Zord. I kind of believe the logic here. Uh, whatever. Um, Zords could be used to, like, for a multitude of purposes. <laughs> um, we should. Is there any, like, defensive systems down that we could turn on? Or we would just rush down there and get them, uh, get, kick some bad guy ass. I'm if like we turn, defenses, basically. if we turn the lights on, that means we turn the power on down there, and we give them computer access in the process. So, never mind on that. Let's go kick some ass. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> um, when we're leaving, I will ask uh, since he has the actual like codes. I guess lock this door behind us. So nobody can get in here after we've left. Yep. And then we'll head down. And for the record, yeah. what, what you're seeing him doing, yeah. it's... It's like putting on the thing and scanning. Yeah, yeah, he he does not have a morpher like you do. Right. This wrist-mounted device is serving that purpose. Right. So it is effectively the same thing as your Delta morpher. You could do the same things he's doing. So, all right. But yes, he locks the door behind you. Cool. Locks out the computer, and you guys head down to the Zord Bay. Okay. All right. Back to you guys. Right. Just as this plan is about to be enacted. So you have a plan. Yes. Um, to be honest, a lot of dudes, and who or whatever's in that container could pop at any time, regardless of what we do. So, realistically, we'll probably need to dwindle down the numbers a little bit. Explosives. You are very heavy on that, aren't you? Some days. Or perhaps, I mean, we have lots of rooftops. Uh, they could do. We morph. We all use our uh, Delta Max strikers. We try to basically get a triangulation fire pattern that to where we nice. basically open up a box full of lots of blasts with some confused, with some confused hostiles. You can do that. Would be nice. I've been trying to transform for a while. <laughs> I can't for some reason. Mm. What? It's because you're hungry. There's not enough power getting to his morpher. Uh -oh. Somehow it's somehow the electromagnetic interference gotcha. is interfering with his morpher. Uh. So, to be honest, I would, that was an excellent plan. If we had full power with what we have. To be honest, I was thinking more of distractionary tactics. If that would be a way to do it. Want to look both? We can. Although, I'm the distraction. <laughs> he goes, huh, that's funny. Normally, I'm the distraction. But hey, <laughs> it's a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
do we have smoke bombs and uh, like um? Look at my look at my yeah. Well, Max, I don't know. I don't know. You seem like a pretty resourceful kitty. Maybe you can scare up some chemical. Maybe you can scare up some smoke bombs. <laughs> Whatever we can find around the. Uh, well, there are also warehouses. <laughs> That's true. Actually, I want to make another. I want to make another scent roll specifically for chemical smell, <laughs> like industrial chemical smell. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm, and I'm going to use an, an. Well, hold on a second. Let me think. Can you smell past the poison and everything else that's around? Refrigerate. Yeah, you're going to need an eight. So yeah, I'm gonna use one of the uh, ultra gems. Okay, so the ultra gem is gonna give you an extra die. So you're gonna be rolling. Uh, well, for the record, I should throw this out there um, because I've been is it, uh, mishandling part of it. Well, no, I haven't. Once you transform, remember you'll have two dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. You haven't transformed yet. Yes. So right now you still have one. Ah man. Okay. Two. Five. You can tell there's other stuff in the area, but the acrid odor coming out of that building is so strong, it's overriding virtually everything else. It's like, well, not, say, not saying there's not something you can use here, it's just, well, oh, that snake man stinks. How about the back of the vehicle I drove? That's a good point. Yeah. Tinker with the, tinker with the engine where it just coughs up a whole lot of... No, I mean, like, open the back of it and see what's in the back of it. Don't mess up the car. <laughs> no, no, no. She, she, she has a third motorcycle. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah. Don't mess up the lights. Uh, you want to cut donuts? <laughs> All right. Do check to see what we have on resource on hand. Yeah. Okay. Um, make a roll. Like, open the door. <laughs> uh, you need a uh, five. Mm. You. It was a two, so it's a total of four. Yes. Um. There's nothing there that you could, like, immediately use to do what you need to do. Um, if you're willing to run the risk of damaging the motorcycle, you could create a considerable distraction, but you also run the risk of blowing the bike up in the process. Uh, I think trying to find ways to get the situation under control will hopefully justify some expenditures. <laughs> so, as you actually, as you're, like, peace out, bike. Like, why don't you use mine? It's got a heavier armored chassis. Oh, to be honest, I was going to use yours. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, the, that's the exact statement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she kind of... <laughs> you didn't really think I was going to mess up my body. Come well, on, like now. Anyways. Right, no um, need to wow. get catty now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Real danger going into jokes. It's a dog eat dog world? <laughs> oh, yes it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what are you trying to do with the bike? Basically, we're going to send that bad boy in. Actually, I do want it to technically blow. Okay. So you're trying to rig this thing to explode on what? On a time delay? On impact with something? Hopefully it's going to impact one of those dudes and do it. Or at least... Enough to where like, if it even fell over next to any of them, it would cause a reaction. All right. Um, Why don't we morph first? We'll morph. Well, and you get can set. morph. That's uh, fine. Uh, uh, yeah. okay. But well, let's get to this Dude, first. You need to, do the, to the plan. you need to do the tinker roll first. That's what I was saying. All, All right. So we'll get to that. you are going to need. Uh, you are going to need a a six. Okay, so that gives you two dice. We need this. Dice. Use an ultra gem. Yes, I need to make sure this happens. Okay. There we go. All right. So, you've successfully pulled off the tinker part. Now you have to get it down there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, are you... Did you rig it for impact or for like a time delay? Time delay. What is right. time delay? All right. How long of a time delay? Um, 
give or take, uh, what's our rough distance, give or take, from where I'm building this thing and where we can... About 100 yards. Okay. I'll come. Mm-hmm. But I say, this is technically our bike. No technically about it. It is my bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I need you to transform. And you want me to drive a bomb into the middle of that and then transform. <laughs> Slightly. Look at like, Wow, you're bad at being the second inch long. <laughs> be positive, Okami. To be a, I'm about to say. Look like, uh, not but, saying I'm not going to do but, it because but, that but, sounds awesome. <laughs> for the record, you pass the tinker check. That's one more energy. Okay. Uh, you could drive it. That's an problem, so. You could take it in yourself. So, actually, uh, that's anyway. Well, however, actually, no. However, considering that if I drive that in there, pop it. I would be the best one to be able to stave them off in close quarters combat. <laughs> Which was the original idea. Okay. <laughs> this was the original idea. He wasn't just trying to get you killed. <laughs> oh, <I'm> just trying. <laughs> that wasn't his sole objective. It was no. His sole objective. Yeah, there are multiple layers. All right. He's a thinker. <laughs> okay. So. You've got it rigged. You're writing it in. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. You are the first person in the initiative round. Um, (laughs) But I obviously I do suggest we do transform. Transforming is not an action. Okay, fair enough. So just because I think this would be ridiculous and awesome, I I know which moment I want to transform. All right. I'll provide cover fire depending on initiative order. So, all right. So, um, first things first. For agreeing to do this, get an energy. All right. So, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. Make indeed. your roll. Um, that was for me to basically see about <laughs> about how long it was going to take to get there. Um. All right. The fuse and everything looks like it's rigged up about right. You're going to have to gauge your own distance, but if you're still on that bike, when it reaches basically the center of where those crushers are presently, you're going up with the bike. Yep. All right. So, um, I'm not going to make you roll to ride the bike. You know how to do that. Yeah. You're rolling to get off the bike. So. Basically, as I'm cruising it, when I get to that distance, mm-hmm. as I'm as he's driving, he's like, SPT emergency! As he just puts his foot on the gas. <laughs> Flash of light, Green Ranger appears on the bike. You have their attention. And, um, then, it just, and then I'm going to backflip off the bike yes. as it rides into the- All right. Take your six energy off of there. You've got two energy remaining. Do All right. So um, you're going to need an eight. Brother, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even- even question. Yeah. Right. yeah. I'm just right. the blue. And the reason it's taking so much is because you're riding this thing, you're riding a road bike over sand. Ooh. Yeah, so I was like, I wouldn't even question this. Ooh. Boom. 11. They're not 11. dirt bikes like the Commodore bikes? Huh? They're not dirt bikes like No. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, and you spent the ultra? Yeah, okay. 11. No, spent 11. That's what I told him. I was like, no, we're not, ma- we're not mistaken. This uh-huh. needs to go off without a hitch. Which one did you throw in there? I threw the blue one in there. Okay. Yeah. Let me grab the blue. Well, you need to put the black one in there. The blue. Okay. So, you ride it in. Uh, I said there were approximately a dozen crushers down there. Luckily, I have a dozen dice. Yay! Um, I did something. He has to throw all the dice. Yes. So, all ones. We're going to be just so great. Yeah. You're make up for all the ones he hasn't rolled yet tonight. So, <laughs> we're going to say that, that um, they see you coming because you transformed in route yeah. and they hear the bike. I'm going to say they need at least fours to dive out of the way. So, y'all get two gems. You get to pick one up. Yep. So there's two, three. Yay. There's a red one. Four. Oh, I'm going to need it. It's going to be me and him. We're like 12 suits in a second. All right. Oh, there we go. You ride it yeah. in. Your bike one, is it? basically no, goes up like in a. Let's 
Right. And goes up in a glorious bit of pyro explosion. <laughs> oh no, man, notice I backflip because cool guys don't walk away from explosions. <laughs> Shrapnel flies everywhere, etc., etc. Et <laughs> you wipe out probably half in and that it is, explosion. As I landed my feet, she's like, "Put them up." And <laughs> yeah, that was a successful one. Yeah. Yes. And so, how? <laughs> so that takes out about a half dozen of the crushers that are there. There are six remaining. Now, uh, worth noting, uh, in this case, since there are six, they act in groups of three. That way, they cannot possibly go last in this situation because that way there's as many of them. It's also less management than the GM. Actually, it's not. Um, it's it's to prevent you guys from being in a situation where you have to let them go last. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, all right. So they will act in two groups of three. Luckily, the soundproofing on the building that prohib prohibited you from hearing them. Um, has got them more going, what happened, than actually rushing out of the building at the moment. That's some mighty loud chanting. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. So. So, who do you popcorn to? Since he just actively antagonized the villains, I'm going to popcorn to the three in front of me. Okay. Get one out of the way now. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Just gonna rip off the band-aid, huh? Alright. Yep. <laughs> apparently that's what that's Okami's thing is ripping off the band-aid. All three of them are rushing you just in mass. So make your first defense check. Eight. Draw Jim. Second defense check. Seven. One hits. Third defense check. Seven. Ties go to the Ranger. Draw another gem. All right. Um, That's the legendary. Drew, I just drew the legendary gem. That's, sure. Let me let me see that yeah, one. Yeah, you, draw one. Yeah, you can be can be wrong. All right. Yep. Nope. That's the legendary that gem. That is the legendary yeah, gem. Another ultra gem. Yeah. So oh. the bag they're pulling their power gems out of. For those who missed episode one, there's five gems in there for every color. There are five black gems in there that are the ultra gems. They do the same thing the hashtag ultra does on screen. But there is also one. Count them one. Golden gem out of the 31 that are in the bag, and that one will allow them to double the result of any one single roll. Okay, so keep in mind that gem lets you double the result of a single roll. That's it. Now, as far as you have to roll it, you have to spend the gem do before we you get, do it. Do, just do we get uh energy points for successful defense rolls? Yes, because it's still a successful check, so, so that's two more. Yep. All right, so the one that actually hits you, two of them are so shaken up, they're charging at you and stumbling. And, and I'm just like... <laughs> so the third one manages to, basically, as he approaches, he you know, essentially is going to try to drop kick you. So, well, it's less than that when you look at the gems already been pulled. So... It would be one in one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it was one in twenty-five. Still good odds. Still. Still rough odds. Anyway, uh, and he hits you in the chest and deals nine points of damage. Which so my armor takes your armor, one of that. Yeah, your armor has one point left. Well, remember you were. What were you using for my hit points beforehand? Before we changed. I added your ten and uh, I took uh, ten away. I will take nine away. You're at 69. Okay. You're at All right, so that group of bad guys is going to popcorn to Delta Blue. Got it. Nah, I, I, I thought I was going to say civilian for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I only really worked my house home to get this point. <laughs> I was like, like, this is happening. I was like, say, Jesus. SPD, emergency. Oh, I know that is. And uh, <laughs> um, and then yes, it'll be your turn later. <laughs> He's just trying to remember the motion. I, my brain just goes when it comes to that kind of thing. I love it because my brain goes. I don't know. I love it too. Fortunately, I don't got a 
whole lot of spawn. No, I have any energy to really spend. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm running in. Okay. Uh, there's the group. I used the energy yeah, I had to yeah. set for. There's the I group of so. there's the group of crushers that are on Okami, and then there's the group of crushers that's recovering and moving in Yaz's direction. Working towards the recovery, guys. Okay. So there's three of them there. Uh, which one are you attacking? Left, right, or center? I guess. Center. I guess. Okay. All right. So what are you trying to do? Going in for just regular. Just straight, straight right hand. Yep. All right. Roll two dice. Uh, eight. You will hit, so that gets you an energy. Yeah. And uh, roll two dice for damage. Ah, crap. Seven. Seven. Okay. So, come back here, die. Pardon me, folks. Okay. So. All right. So you hit him straight punch, and he just staggers backwards. All right. And who do you popcorn to? You've got the group in front of you, and you've got Felicia. The other group. Okay. So the group in front of you, starting with the dude you just staggered, he is, and he yeah, and rushes right back at you, and pull Jim. Um, nice on you. Yep. So uh, seven of my. He missed. He rolled a five. Okay. Second one. Rolled a ten. Nine. So that one will hit. And the third one rolls a seven. Got me again. All right, and pull another gem. Okay. Uh, Worth noting, you can spend gems for defense, too. Okay, got it. All right. So you've got two attacks coming your way. All right. Somebody shake that bag up. Um, <laughs> uh, We're feeling real ultra tonight. Yeah, very. <laughs> All right. Draw a ledger, never mind. Just shake it to that. All right. So the first one rushes in, tries to sweep the leg. Yes. Does 11 points of damage. Woo! The second one... The first one sweeps the leg... And you start to fall forward. The other one is trying to hit you with a knee lift in the head on the way down. Oh, they're using the knee of doom <laughs> for nine points of damage. So <laughs> <are moved. laughs> I was just like, I'm like, ow. This is why I wanted to do technology. Not fight. <laughs> they pop corn to ten. This is why I wanted to fight, not do technology. It's the emergency. <laughs> and yep. She powers up. Um. Well, since the Blue Ranger is currently a little bit on the dazed and confused side, uh, mm-hmm. Okami is like, right there! Okami's in his happy place, right? <laughs> yes, Okami is in my happy place, in my happy place. She can, can she reach Okami to, uh, like, uh, to, yes. to team up on this one? Okay, because she will run bare lineage for Okami, <laughs> springboard on the beach. <laughs> and he just like, ooh, ooh, I could do this. <laughs> so she's essentially going to springboard off of him. And okay. essentially she's going to try to high kick the two like that are in front of him. Okay. You're not going to be able to hit both of them. That's fine. All right. So um, you roll first. You need a six to do the springboard. This isn't actually an Can I add my strong to be a, for, a strong yes, base? Yes, you can. Yay. Uh, eight. All right. Is this considered a tent situation? Uh, no. Alright. And a four. A four? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what they roll. The one you're attacking. Um, for the record, yeah. he passed. That gets you a buff. Yeah. So you actually rolled a six. Yeah. He rolled a five. So. Yay. Deal your damage. You're also getting plus two to damage because of the boost. Yeah. 11. 13. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go with what works. The hobby horse maneuver. <laughs> I like it. Okay. And this is one of the ones that's on him? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Were you talking... To make sure you're attacking one that's with a commie, not one of the ones that's on deck of uh, not yet, no. Okay, all right, so that ends that round. We kick over to you. 
Okay. You guys arrive at the Zord Bay mm -hmm. just in time to see Captain Mitchell arrive. Okay. So. I don't. <laughs> yes. It can't just. Captain Mitchell? Indeed, Cadet. What's the situation in there? Delta Red. Uh, it seems there are, we saw like a dozen. It seems there are a dozen. A half a dozen. Half a dozen. Is it Crabots or Force? Or uh, or hostiles. You hostiles. don't know. Yeah. Inside. All right. This is Doctor. Uh, Doctor Steele's reputation precedes him. Right, of course it does. <laughs> so we need to get to my Zord as quickly as possible. He just gives her a confused look. I haven't been the Pink Ranger in quite a while, but my Zord is still in that Zord bay. I can still activate it. And your friends are on the ship that is crashing. Or you will stop crash. that ship from crashing. So it would be really useful for that. Yes, it would. It. So, so, yeah, so, since we have no time to waste, I don't know that we have time to fight off six whatevers. Okay. We could rush in through, you could run past us, get to your Zord, we distract them. We rush in, distract them, you sneak by the Zord. Is there a ventilation that could reach into there? I'll tell you here that I, uh, I can handle it. It looks to Dr. <laughs> Steele. And yes, sir? You have a team to lead. I do. I can handle whatever's on the other side of that door. All right. Get to your team. Save your friend. Besides which, potting a Zord unmorphed is not exactly the smoothest ride. If something happens to, Doc, to Captain Mitchell, training or not, you might have to take over. Okay. I'll go with Captain Mitchell in the Zord. You take care of this, and I, I, I like lightly tap his shoulder. I'm sure your armor can handle it. <laughs> Jokingly, of yeah. course. <laughs> right? He says, serious. Good naturedly this time. Yeah, he says, serious. He just kind of smiles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm sure they can't put as many dings in it as your guys did. You see him flip the thing up and just pull his hand up. Trooper transform. Big flash of light. The silver Gavin armor appears around him. Give the word, Red. Let's go. I hit the button to open the doors. He actually will initiate combat. When the right. door opens, there are a half dozen crushers in the room. And you see him immediately, as soon as the door opens, he rushes through and you hear him, as he bounds into a jumping position, he calls into his, into his uh, wrist-mounted device. You hear him call... Dimension Bomber. At which point you see him fly up into the air uh -huh. and come down at basically a 45 degree angle and hits everything in his path. Fists out. He basically turns himself into an armored missile. Superland. And you see the crushers scatter and as of this moment you are the least thing on their mind. Let's go. I just I go. I run with uh, what's her uh, with Captain, Captain Mitchell, Mitchell. To the droid. You get to uh, glancing back. I, I would say good luck. Yeah, my breath. He doesn't hear me. That is. <laughs> uh, roll a check. You need a four. As does Captain Mitchell. Sirius still applying in this case. Yes, this is your mission objective. Uh, seven. You both get to the Zord. Her Zord looks. Essentially like a massive ambulance. So, you climb up into the cockpit of her Zord. You see her fiddle with a bunch of buttons. Ready when you are, Captain. First time I did this without a suit on. You hear her click on. You see a comm click up. Yeah. 
Now wouldn't be a bad time for you, though. Just in case. Right. SPD emergency. So, you transform into Delta Red. Yep. She turns on the comms. This should override any interference. This is Captain Mitchell aboard Med Rescue 5. Calling any Delta Ranger. Do you read? You can hear everything she says. Really? Like, uh, well, I'm sorry, what was the what was her designation again? It's Med Rescue 5. It's like, uh, copy Med Rescue 5. <laughs> ha! You missed! This is <laughs> Delta Green responding. <laughs> Delta Yellow responding. Delta Blue responding. <laughs> Varying degrees of <laughs> So, what's the status of our crash? Well, which one? The one in the air. Is it still coming down? Oh, okay, oh, okay, stop well. talking for a minute. I was like, I'll go like, I was like, it has not landed yet. We're dealing with some hostiles in our little area. I'm bringing Delta Red with me and should be there momentarily. And you see her. Med Rescue 5. Launch. You see a door open. And you see water start to come into the bay. Okay. <laughs> there. It's normal, kid. Give me a second. Hey. Annabeth, good. you see her. Um, my apologies, by the way. Go on. There's only one seat belt. She hits a button. <laughs> <and you> guys... <laughs> He's like standing like, okay, okay. And it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and you <Yeah>. blash <laughs> out. I quickly grab on to like something, like a backwards seat and just hang on. Make a check. Awesome. You need a like, four. Okay. Get her done. <laughs> Get her done. You forgot your other dice. You forgot your other dice. Oh, you're, you're, trying to yeah, you're, you're a ranger now. We're good. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you you I grasp can. onto the black of her seat. The black of her seat? The back of her seat, rather. <laughs> Goes up. <laughs> well, theoretically, yes, yes the yes. seat's mostly pink, and yes. you grab onto the black part at the top. Yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> black you, know, you get the, the back of her seat, it blasts through. You come up through the water and land on the road rather jarringly. I'm just going <laughs> to say, that was really freaking awesome. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> It's much more awesome when you have something to keep your head from rattling around. Uh, you okay? I'll be good. And you guys basically start hauling. They will be there by the time your next round ends. Okay? So, uh, let's see here. We had finished out... Finish up yeah, Ms. Violet. Um, I will pop corn to you, actually. Okay. All right, so at the moment, uh, you are staggered on your knees and lots of pretty stars. Mm -hmm. But you're recovering fairly quickly. That's a... I forget this, some clothes on. The next person that comes in, you want to hear me? All right, <laughs> make a roll. Jesus. Remember, you are rolling two dice. I did. <laughs> What'd you roll? Um, Four. Four? All right. So, apparently, this particular crusher uh, went to wrestling school because he knows what duck one is. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, but he, he ducks. And who do you popcorn it to? His group. Okay. So the group over on you guys. Uh, two are coming towards you. Mm -hmm. One is with you. Specifically the one you just kicked. Oh. All right. So the two with, that are with you. First one rolls a five. I got a seven. Somebody pull a gem. Second one rolls an eight. I got a five. So that one will hit. And basically he is trying to spear you and get you on your back. <laughs> trying to take you off of a vertical base. All right. Pink job. So, he does so when you take seven damage. Okay. Um, make a... 
Make a strength check. You need a seven. Nine. He knocks some wind out of you, but you don't actually fall off your feet. You basically dig into the sand and take a knee. The one that is on Tien... Rolls 11. And basically, you kicked it in the, the side of the head, and it spins around and is going to elbow you in the side of the head. So it's sort of a spinning back elbow for six damage. All right. They are going to pop corn to Okami. So I'm on one knee. He's at about chest level. Yeah. I'm going to wrap my arm around his neck, grab his waist, pick him up, and try to hit one of the other crushers with him. <laughs> okay. So uh, go ahead. For the purposes of this, uh, first things first, to pick old boy up, you need a... Um, they are fairly dense. Um, you need a nine. Would I get my strong on this? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, so that makes it. That means you need a seven now. And I'm gonna spend a uh, ultra. Okay. Now this is a strength check, so this does not count as the attack portion. You're gonna make two. Oh. Rolls. Okay. So actually, I'll try it. So. Okay. This is just to pick this guy up. Okay. So that's a six. You don't pick him up, but you still have a hold of him. What do you want to do to him? Now that I've got my arm around his neck, I'm basically... You try to heave him up, but he sandbags it. And then I'm just going to crank on that. Basically, just... <coughs> okay. So, go ahead and roll. He has a seven. I got a ten. Okay. So. Well, there's no strength on that one, but you still beat him because you're old mate. Okay. Um, all right, so roll damage. Uh, nine damage. Nine damage. Yeah, that's where your plus two comes in. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, where do you popcorn to? There's the group that is on uh, on blue, or there's going back to yellow. Uh, I'll popcorn to yellow. Uh, oh wait, no, no he did. I'll popcorn to that group. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, listen, man, I'm trying to get my butt with. <laughs> what? He's talking about good crap. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I leave for five minutes. Y'all start killing each other. All right. So uh, we get to you. All right. So the one that you tried to clothesline, he basically is going to duck under your clothesline. And he is trying to take control of your arm. Should I use a blue instead? So blue would give you plus two to your mm -hmm. defense roll. Yeah. yeah. We'll just and we'll use a blue into the bag. Okay. You need to beat a five. Okay. See, somebody see, see, pu somebody see, pull a gem. Yeah, see, this is one. This is one. Okay, so he yeah, doesn't I mean, do that. The other two. The other, one, you would have the other two are just coming Man, after you. That. Okay. Go ahead. This one rolls an eight. Eight. Ties go to the ranger. So, second one also rolls an eight. No great. Eight. Ten. Okay, so you pass both of those. So, you're ducking and, and moving at this point. I'm doing the tilt the world and stuff like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not this time. <laughs> and over to you. Got this? Yeah. As you look, as you look like, please, I got my arm around his neck. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> she will, uh, since she's still looking, since she looks over and sees mm. that he's looking still a little bit wobbly here and there, mm. we'll go, uh, well, I'm still at the one in front of me. Yep. She will. Which just clocked you. Yeah. She will, uh, <clears throat> She she will happily uh, return that uh, elbow w with an uppercut t to the to the jaw. Okay. Since it, since it seems to be a polite return. Okay. A favor to. Beat an eight. I got a ten. Okay. Roll your damage. I got a ten. Okay. So. 
deals damage there. All right, so you uppercut him, and he basically flies backwards. About that point, you hear over your comms, Make a path! Oh, boy. And if you uh, look, you see Med Rescue 5 barreling toward Jaws' position. Peace! (laughs) (laughs) So, breaking initiative for a second, all three of y'all need to make a roll, and you all need to beat a seven. Well, no, because I would think this would be more of a graceful dodge out of the move. Like uh, nine. Okay. Kind of roll. Yep. Okay. Plus two. You All you nine. guys <laughs> bail. As y'all do that, you see a cannon come up over the top of Med Rescue 5's roof and basically clears the entire beach in a massive water cannon. It slides into position and you see you Underwear. gracefully disembark. Disembark. <laughs> yeah. Because they always did that. Every time they jumped their sword, they always did this weird, like, yeah. thing. Every time it was <laughs> You do that. Yep. Out of the path. And you see a massive, basically, crash pad uh-huh. emerge from the roof of Delta Rescue 5 and surround what presumably is going to be the landing area. Mm-hmm. I don't go too far away because I was told she may have problems while she's in there. So I mean, I mean, you'd have to get. Oh back no, in. she's getting out. Oh, okay, she's getting like out. Okay. she actually disembarks, and you see her doing a mad sprint, and you see her screaming, "Guys, run!" Okay, yeah, I um, sure. Uh-huh. So, everybody runs. Everybody, make a check for me real quick. Again, um, you need a seven. Being a ranger, am I faster than the captain? Will the captain be fine running on her own? The captain yeah. should. Okay, so can I pick her up and carry her because she might. Yes, you. Know. Yes, okay. you can because she will be. You will be faster than her. Okay, then that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah, cool. Gain an energy, and you now need a nine. Okay. Right, when we're gaining energy when we're transformed, is it into? No. It's just here. Yeah, because you don't have Zord yet. Okay. Rolling up. Hang on, man. Uh, I got one of my uh, red or gems away, please. Me and you're like Throw a red gem away. Yeah. So All right, so that's plus two. two. Yeah, plus my serious number four. That's my dude eye, so we'll see. We're there it is. Eight plus and four, what you roll? So Twelve. Four. All right. Three get clear. Y'all two... <laughs> it, you're going to get caught by something. Am I close enough to her? Yes. I'm going to basically hug her and put myself to take the brunt of the damage. Okay. All right. Uh, Gain an energy. All right. So. This thing. This thing. I got you, Captain. This thing comes in hot. It crashes into the top of Med Rescue 5. The shuttle is relatively intact. Med Rescue 5 explodes underneath from the impact. Shrapnel starts going over and there's a massive shock wave. So, that shock wave that could have been worse. Yeah. Okami takes 15 damage. And Tien takes 8. So you took about half of what he would, what he took. You got a, you, you, you missed pieces of fur. So. What's the shock wave? Well, so well, I'm at 47. My suit is just barely smudged. So what's the shock wave? Artfully smudged. What's the shock wave? So I rub back. Like, yeah, I'm coming. He, and you basically, like, speak up. And I look like, okay. <laughs> he, this is the first time okay. he's actually fought beside us. This is normal. Go to my stuff. Oh, sand gets everywhere. <laughs> I asked uh, to make sure the captain's okay. I set her down, right? Mm-hmm. She's okay, like, right? You all right, partner? I'm good. She knows how to get get away from here to get okay. back where she needs to go because her okay. part in this is now done. Right. You guys thank you for your thank you for your assistance, Captain. I appreciate agile. it. We got this. I hmm? immediately turned Y'all to go. Need to be a little more agile. Okay, <laughs> so you head to your crew, <laughs> and you and you need to learn how to take a hit. <laughs> I will. I will appreciate you. Know what? <laughs> That's fair. You know what? <laughs> that is fair. That's fair. <laughs> 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 
Since we both have things to work on, <coughs> yes. About that time, <coughs> falling down into the crash pad, you see Detective Sergeant Umiko dragging Rodriguez. Who's running through there. Yeah. Oh, running yeah, yeah, yeah. We're running toward... So. I actually kind of have the Delta Striker out and keep an eye out around us. Because there was a lot of... Yeah, there was the two Cobras and heading towards them, but just keeping a... Yeah, well, I'll yeah. draw my Striker as well. I, yeah. While running over there, I attempt mm-hmm. to see if I can get Gavin on the, the rate on the, the thing. Just to see if... Mm-hmm. Everything okay over there? Oh, just about uh, one second, and you hear, <laughs> and you hear a. <laughs> I'm done, Delta Red. Go. We're gonna need you over here. En route. So. Yeah. Let me call it here. What happened? We were attacked. (coughs) And you have been lured here. That was pretty obvious. Well, what's more obvious, Red Ranger? She's saying that there's somebody there. That's like seeing someone else. Okay, I'll look to wherever the voice is coming from. The building that you guys have been looking at? Mm -hmm. You see a large snake man Uh with various robed figures Uh and a half dozen crushers with him. What's more obvious? That this was a trap? Or that you will be the shortest lived team of rangers in Earth history. <laughs> to be continued. <clears throat> that brings us to the end of episode two A New Breed of Hero. Unexpectedly, because this is. I will learn eventually that whatever I write down, my players will somehow manage to keep me from doing. <laughs> So, really, yes, yes. Uh, this particular monster of the week will actually make it two weeks, unlike most Power Rangers monsters. Oh, uh, so this is going to be like a common rider on two episodes. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is our this is this is our common rider episode. Dude, we got the bikes and everything. It's perfect. I will say I did come this close to inserting a common rider into this universe just to do it, mm-hmm. but I decided against it for now. So. Thank you so very much for uh, for joining us, folks. Um, I will. They will learn the monster's name, but next time on Delta Squad, still one man down. Can our new Delta Squad Power Rangers take on the venomous and electrifying monster known as Dokuja? What threat does he pose, and what does he want? Other than Delta Squad deader than doornails. So, and what is his mission and the intent for why he is here? What does the Shadowy Syndicate have in store for our heroes? So, folks, next time we will start in with the Rangers powered up and fighting our Monster of the Week. That rarely happens on an episode of Power Rangers, but... This is Delta Squad, so we'll do that. Delta Squad, we do this differently. Yes, we do. We keep it real. (laughs) Real. Real, So, folks, now you know what they're walking into next week. And um, anyone that's familiar with this monster, you saw the picture. I'll put it up here one more time, just in case anyone out there can (laughs) figure out where that monster's from. If you're familiar with him, then you know what they're up against next time we play. So, that said, you need to help them... Power mm-hmm. up, super, we mega, ultra, and hyper. This week, 
both roll over? They will roll over since the fight is going to continue into next session or next episode. I will let the existing rewards roll into the next episode. You don't too. use the legendary gem either. That sucks. Yeah, nobody used the legendary gem. We didn't really had to. So it was, do you it was want us to make a little note about how much energy we had at the end of the session? Um, yes, because I will let your energy carry over as well as your hit points. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so folks. Uh, help our rangers out. Use the hashtags below. You can do that in the live chat. That's part of our premiere. Still keep, HP. <laughs> keep in mind that we do not... We're, we're not actually broadcasting. This is not a live yeah. stream. Yeah. But uh, but there is a live chat during the premiere. Feel free to uh, put some there. And you never know who will pop up in the live chat. During episode one, RJ was actually in live I'm chat uh, during the premiere. And who knows if one of our... Rangers or myself are available when the episode goes live. Maybe we'll be in the live chat and you can talk to us during the episode um, and That's see what awesome. we thought and what's going on and so on. So uh, check it out. And if it's not live and you're watching it on a replay, then hey, that's what the comment section down below us is for. Mm -hmm. So do that. So folks, if you have anything that you want to let us know, you have any ideas you want to throw at us, hey, I love hearing them. Put those in the comments too. Like, share, subscribe, all the wonderful mm -hmm. things you do here on the YouTubes. And uh, we don't, I don't do this at the end of every episode like you're doing here, of every part, but uh, I will do it now. So uh, Josh, do you guys have anything upcoming on upcoming episodes of Chopsaki Cinema that you're aware of? Um, right now, uh, me and William are trying to find a time to get together to check out the Amazon Prime original Sentosha Battle Wheels. I, I watched a little bit of episode one, and the fact that the great Muda is on that show as one of the, the competitors is hilarious to me. And I love that he picked an SUV. Well, he didn't pick old, it. But that's what they want. They, it a was a sign for to a strong him. man. Yes. <laughs> so, that'll be fun, uh, you guys doing that. And Chris, anything coming up on 8 Star Anime we need to know about? Yes, uh... Do look forward to uh, the review for the Dragon Ball Super movie Broly with me, William, and Larissa uh, as we check out the latest uh, Dragon Ball film that has everyone raving. Uh, as well as... What are you doing now? Uh, uh, well, it's already taped, so it might actually be up by the time you guys see this. So either go watch, watch it, it or be on the lookout for it. Fair enough. However, we are uh, still working on uh, our review with uh, myself, Dave, and Rod, yes, the original trio is back for an episode, uh, as we got down and watched a very sentimental I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. I know it sounds weird, but believe it or not, it's actually one of the most heartbreaking films I've ever seen in my life. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know I'm sitting there watching Mike's face and <laughs> they're going... Are you serious? I'm and yes. Sit next to you anymore. <laughs> Believe it or not, has the legitimate title, whether it's in Japanese or English. So take it as you will, but you definitely want to see that film after you check out our review. And uh, keep an eye out on upcoming episodes of Eight Star Anime because I see a couple of volumes of Wolf Terrain sitting over there on DVD mm -hmm. next to uh, Chris that are going to find new homes on episodes of Eight Star Anime. So keep an eye out for that. They're going to do that giveaway. However, Chris decides they're going to do it. Correct. Um, also, to let you guys know what's coming up on Denzy Caster, uh, we have more Trojan Sentai Jetman coming your way. Uh, I'm quite certain at some point uh, we have. I have figured out how to get Josh to show up early at for Toku Days, and that's to watch the Toei Spider Man. So, <laughs> oh, to be fair, I put I earned this. Yeah, <laughs> countless mornings of Johnny Sacco got me Spider Man. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. Um, so. Uh, we've got episodes of uh, checking out Supaida Man, uh, the Toei version of Spider-Man. Uh, uh, keep an eye out for Josh and Sam on Denzi Caster. Mm -hmm. Sans me, they're checking out Akiba Ranger Season mm -hmm. 1. Um, next go around, I hope Chris will be in on that. That's a, a series of episodes that I'm not in because I've already done a review of those here on the channel. And yeah, y'all don't want to hear me talk about it twice. Um, but we're also going to be looking at uh, upcoming stuff. When in no particular order, um, uh, but we've had requests to check out some Kamen Rider Forze. We've had some requests to check out some uh, some of uh, Kamen Rider Decade. Um, I think Jetman is the big one on the agenda at the moment, just because Jetman is bloody awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I personally would love to get a Power Rangers show in there somewhere, somehow, some way. Uh, that or even Go Busters because uh, Power Rangers Beast Morphers is, is has debuted now on Nickelodeon and 
it has debuted as of when you're watching this, but for us, it will debut oh, like a week from yesterday. This is a Sunday for us, so it comes out on March 2nd. And uh, We're time travelers. Yes, and I, I'm very interested to see how that mm-hmm. show works out. So, lots of stuff coming up on Denzy Caster, and I have not forgotten about Common Rider uh, Z.O. on uh, Denzy Caster now. I'm, I'm just having to play catch up. I got a baby. What do you want? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> until next time, folks, where we get into episode three of uh, Delta Squad, uh, season one, episode three, Growing Up Early. Uh, until then, I'm Mike. I'm Josh. I'm Judy. I'm Chris. I'm RJ. And we will see you next time on Rage Quit Radio. Yeah.